everyone! Today I have a mini art haul for you guys. I don't have a lot of stuff, um, but I did get some cool art supplies and I'm so excited to show you and I'm very excited to create some new artwork and play around with all this stuff that I got. One item, however, is on back order, but I do have the exact same item, just in a different shade. So I'm going to be showing you that instead and then just tell you the color. I got. So I'm going to be going from least expensive to most expensive items. So the first item I got was some painter's tape and I did get all of this from dickblick.com. So if you're, you know, interested in any of these items, I'll have the link in the description. Yeah, this first thing I got is some painter's tape and I had actually lost my roll of painter's tape. And I've been wanting to create some watercolor paintings with that really nice and crisp, clean edge and border. I really like the way that looks, so I went ahead and got a roll of painter's tape. And this is for really delicate surfaces, so the tape will not peel the paper. Because I have had experiences in the past um, where I would use masking tape or different types of painter tape and they would rip the paper and the paper would just be ruined. So I'm gonna give this a try. Thing I got are these two palettes. So I have two of these and there's a reason why I got these palettes. So these palettes are the exact same thing as each other. They come in this little plastic sleeve and you can just slide it out like this. And the reason why I got this is because I am going to be making my own watercolor palettes and gouache palettes, which I am so excited to try the gouache that I got because the last time I had gouache, it was from the brand Fine Touch. I think I mentioned this in my last video. I'm not sure if I did or not, but that was the worst gouache I had ever tried my entire life. It was so bad, but the palette looks like this. It has a really nice little thumb holder. You can put your thumb here and hold your palette like that, and it's very comfortable, and I really like this. It can hold 20 colors, so 10 colors on each side if you choose to have that mini. This is a really nice and sturdy palette. I've been looking for a palette like this for a very long time and I've gone to local art stores and craft stores and I just have not been able to find a palette like this and I'm glad I found one of these on Blick and I got two of these, one for gouache and one for watercolor. So the next item that I got is some new watercolor paper to try and I have never tried the Strathmore Ready Cut watercolor paper, and this is the Hot Press paper. I've never tried Hot Press paper, and I'm very excited to try this. I have tried a bunch of different watercolor papers from Strathmore, and I really do love their paper. I've tried the 400 series and 300 series, and this is the 500 series. The higher the series, the better the quality, the thicker the paper, and I'm just so excited to try this paper out. And I will let you guys know if this paper is worth it. This paper was only $6.68, and there is 10 sheets in here. The next item I got is the item that is actually back ordered and it is some Winsor & Newton ink. Now this ink that I have here is the Winsor & Newton gold ink but the ink that I had ordered is the Winsor & Newton silver ink which I am very excited to try because I love this gold ink. I've used it a lot and it's really, really beautiful. So I'm very excited to try the silver one out and see how it does. And if you guys have tried the silver one, um, you can let me know how you like that in the comments. Here is the next thing I got. This is one of the bigger items that I got and it's actually the second to last item that I did get. This is the Winsor & Newton Designers gouache primary color set. There are six tubes of gouache. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it and show you all the tubes and go over the names and stuff like that. So you do get a little color chart in here to show you all of the colors that 
you can get with the designer gouache. So like I said, there's six colors. So let's start over here from left and then go right. Here we have primary yellow and they're essentially all the same, like name wise. Here we have primary blue, primary red. Sorry for the glare, by the way. These are just really shiny tubes. Uh, here we have primary green middle. Then we have ivory black and then lastly I have zinc white and like I said I'm going to be making a gouache palette out of these and I'm going to be mixing some colors creating my own custom colors and hopefully developing a palette that I can use in my everyday artwork so I'm very excited for that so the final item that I have for you guys is some Holbein I think that's how you pronounce it if I'm pronouncing it wrong I am very sorry um, artist quality professional grade watercolors and I have been wanting to get some better watercolors for the longest time I have just been so irritated um, with the watercolors that I do have because I feel like the pigment isn't there and they are very patchy and the colors is uneven and I love the Sakura Koi watercolor set but to me that is meant for if you're on you know on the go or if you're a beginner at watercolor which I mean technically I still am sort of a beginner but I just wanted something better and hopefully you know getting these watercolors will help really boost my creativity level and I can get some nice artwork out of these. So this is um, a 12 color set. This is the most expensive item that I got. This set was $43.89 and the Winsor & Newton designer gouache set was $32.39. So let's open these up. I'm so excited to play around with these. You have no idea. Now there are 12 colors. However, the colors are um, very small. I mean, the amount of paint in each of the tubes is very small. But if you think about it, and if you have pan sets, the pan sets usually are even smaller than the amount of paint that are in tubes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go from left to right and name off the colors that we have. So starting over here, we have Crimson Lake. Then we have Vermilion Hue, Yellow Ochre, Permanent Yellow Light, Permanent Green Number One, Viridian Hue, Cobalt Blue Hue, Prussian Blue, Burnt Sienna, Burnt Umber, Ivory Black, and Chinese White. So I'm just going to take one of the watercolor tubes out and just zoom in and let you see what they look like up close. So here is the tiny, tiny tube. There is a 0.17 fluid ounces or five milliliters of pigment in each tube. It says Holbein Artists Watercolors in the name. These are made in Japan. I'm just so excited to try these watercolors. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I mentioned they're made in Japan, but yeah, they're made in Japan if you're wondering. I'm just so excited to try these out. I haven't tried good quality watercolors and I'm very excited. So like I mentioned before, I will have all of the links to these products in the description box below for your convenience. So yeah, I hope you guys like this haul video. If you have any requests or you know, have any questions about anything that I have here or that I own already, you can let me know in the comments below and I will try my best to answer your questions. And I hope you guys are having a really great day. And until then, I will see you next time in my next video. Bye guys.